What's poppin'? It's Suai Generous Tate here. I've gotten this question a million times. Why'd you move to Houston? Why Houston? I'm originally from New York. Yonkers, New York, born and raised there. Why, uh, that'd always be home. Um, I definitely wouldn't be who I am without my experiences growing up there. But I had outgrown Yonkers. In all honesty, I wasn't happy. In 2018, I had the, the opportunity to go study abroad in London, London and the United Kingdom. Um, and it changed my life forever. I knew that there was so much outside of the little bubble I knew that I wanted to explore and see. And I knew that I no longer wanted to stay in New York uh, long term. After my short stint of four months out there, I knew 100% that I wanted to find my way back out to London. Um, so after I graduated college in 2019, I set sights to go back out there for grad school. And I, I was able to, in January of 2020, make it back out there. So we all know what happened in 2020. The pandemic destroyed all of our lives or shook it up in some sort. Unfortunately, financial reasons um, that hit my family contributed to me deciding to come back home to New York. Um, I wanted to be close to my mom who was going through some financial issues and I wanted to be there to be able to support her if I could. Um, so I came back home in June of 2020. And since then it was an uphill battle from a mental and emotional standpoint and financially. I was working, saving up, trying to figure out opportunities to get out of New York. Um, and by the end of 2021, I had set sights said like, all right, I'm gonna move to LA. Um, I have a lot of connections out there, a lot of friends I went to school with, a lot of just close personal friends I've met through along the journey of life. And I was like, LA is a more supportive environment for content creation, which I'm trying to do and trying to, you know what I'm saying, do for a very long time. There was just one, obviously, large, very large problem with LA. It might be more expensive than New York. And your boy's pockets, well, they're small. Let's just say uh, we would have still been in New York if LA was the plan. <laughs> now, if you would have told me I'd be living in Houston a year ago, I would look at you like you were stupid. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> I would have never ever thought things would have happened at this this pace, this this quick. Last year, around this time, I was blessed to be able to meet my uh, ex-girlfriend, who I met through streaming, through Twitch, um, which is so crazy to even think that my life kind of has changed so much since I started streaming. She's based in Houston, Texas. Um, obviously, when I met my my, my ex-girlfriend and, you know, feelings started to arise and, and, and you know what I'm saying, we, we started to think of a future with us, um, I took a trip out here. Um, and I came out here December 31st uh, for New Year's. First time me and her, obviously in person, we had been talking for months and months, but I got to see Houston and absolutely fell in love with Houston from the first time I got off the plane. It was just a different environment, the weather, the people, uh, the food, the space, the culture. I can go on and on about how Houston is just totally different from New York. And I instantly felt a connection here. Um, obviously, as me and her established more of what we were in the future, the possibilities of us being more successful in our relationship I had to start to think about how to bridge the gap because New York, Houston, Texas is 1,600 miles. I'm not even gonna lie to you, a long distance relationship was the hardest thing I've ever had to go do. Um, so I, I definitely was uh, on my radar to try to bridge that gap as we progressed with our relationship. On top of that, a year ago, I, I was able to connect with somebody who became like a big brother to me through Twitch. Um, my boy Crazy Eye, who you saw helped me out with the stream setup. He, he actually rated me on Twitch and he rated me on Halloween of 2021. And from that day on, we just, we just connected and he uh, it became like a big brother to me helped me so much, definitely in my ear to, you know, get me down here as well throughout the months. But he just became such a big help, just the whole, the whole, the whole process. As I, every time I visited here, I had the ability to get closer and closer to him. And obviously since we shared the same love and passion for streaming and gaming, we just became super close and, you know, established a bond in a very, very quick time. The end of January, I'm already visited Houston twice. Um, I was the happiest man on the planet with my ex-girlfriend. And then I had established another, uh, a, a strong bond as a brotherhood with my boy Crazy. And I'm saying like, in the span of like three months, Houston has became this place that I've never ever thought of, I've thought about as an option to move to. And now is a strong possibility. Obviously as feelings just grew and stuff like that, I was like, well, I want to be close to my girlfriend. So as I was you know, looking into it, one of the biggest factors that still to this day, you can't beat is the cost of living. And obviously I, I don't have to tell anybody. New York is one of the most expensive places to live at 
on a planet. I was at that time now where I wanted to move back on my own. Uh, and I, when I was out there in London, I was living by myself and I kind of got used to that. And obviously it was just kind of the perfect timing when I met those two individuals, when I was already thinking about moving um, and they kind of helped me stare towards Houston. And while looking and searching for homes, I was able to see the amount of space that you can get for the price that I actually could afford. Um, and content creation in the last year has been absolutely amazing to me. Um, streaming has gifted me with so many opportunities and things I've never even fathomed of even happening to me. And I wanted to start taking it serious. I wanted to branch out to YouTube, start making short form content, mm -hmm. collab with other people, you know, creators. Um, and I was like, well, I want more of a space. I was doing all this stuff from a corner of my room and I didn't like the feeling of my workspace and my passion space mixed in where I sleep. Um, so that was a big, big, big importance of me of having my own stream room and my own product productivity room versus where I lay my head. Um, and Houston gave me that opportunity to have a two bedroom apartment with the funds that I may have. I had visited five times prior to initially making that move. And once I found this place, I applied and, and if, I, if I got it, I knew I was coming. Houston just seemed like the, the best place for me. Um, now obviously it has its pros and its cons like every other place in the world, but from a long-term perspective, I just feel like Houston has so much to offer me. And it was a brand fresh new start. Um, it's given me this beautiful space. It's given me a, a whole new burst of energy. I don't know what the future may hold, but I know that I'm gonna work hard and, and grind and, and make sure I can make the best of this opportunity. Unfortunately, obviously certain things all didn't go as planned, you know what I'm saying? Like the transition out here hasn't been as smooth as ideal as I've liked it to be. Um, but, you know, I'm still blessed to be in the position I am. I know that was a little bit more of a, a more talkative one, probably a less entertaining, uh, but I've been getting this question so much and and I just wanted to kind of give you out a full story on why Houston came crept up. If you made it through this little video right here, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you've ever been to Houston, want to visit Houston, your favorite places in Houston, if you're from here, I said this in the first video, I still ain't got no friends. So be my friend, please. I'm new here, I haven't seen maybe 99% of Houston. So just, I definitely wanna get out and get to meet people and get to see places. So if you got any suggestions for me to see or places to visit, come on now, drop them in the comments. If you wanna get to know me more on a personal level, I live stream four days on Twitch. Come check me out. The community is amazing. We just have fun. We, get, we laugh, we joke, uh, we have deep conversations, we play games. It's just a, a phenomenal space over there. Um, and I would love to have as many people as possible be able to partake in that. Vivette Amare Visus. I'll check you in the next one.